Hello, fellow infidels and uh, shitty Christians. Um, the reason for this video today uh, is because I saw a clip of uh, uh, our friend, um, what's his name, idiot, William Lay Craig, right, with uh, Ben Shapiro, right, and they were talking nonsense as usual, but one thing that caught my eye is a phrase that he says that actually destroys Judaism and Christianity at the same time. You can't you can make the shop. Right, let's see what uh, Ben Shapiro and William Lane Gray has to say, okay? I'm going to play devil's advocate with you a little bit right. on both of these arguments. Let's start with the cosmological argument that you're making. So the Richard Dawkins come back, the one that you hear most frequently with regard to the finitude of time and, and the idea that everything has a cause is, okay, well, then what caused God? Yes. And it's important to state the first premise correctly, Ben. It's not everything has a cause. It is everything that begins to exist has a cause. Something cannot come into being without a cause. But if something is eternal... If something is eternal. So this scumbag, right, is already um, begging the question. He's assuming his God exists, right? So he's got confirmation bias from the get-go, right? Talking about fucking fallacies. Never began to exist. There's no need for a cause. Right, if you, if you bend the bullshit... Right, and you claim bullshit is correct, there's no need for anything else, right? That's the dishonesty of Christianity. So that uh, objection at the argument is simply based on a misunderstanding. <laughs> no, it's based on your bullshit claims. Of the first premise. What Must we posit such an eternal being, or could we just have an infinity of regressive ah, causes? Well, that's the second premise, that the universe began to exist. And I think... Um, this business about the universe beginning to exist i would not put it that way okay uh because well let's i think there are deep philosophical problems with the idea of a... who gives a shit about a deep philosophical problems right you're talking about the real world not philosophy right if you're talking about the beginning of the universe that's not philosophy there was no there was no philosophy when it went bang right so it's it is like you that trying to philosophy science uh, an infinite past for example how did we get to today is, is this guy full of shit how do we get to today uh walk, waking up uh, putting uh, your clothes on or whatever yeah having a walk having breakfast right and then arriving to a bit with a vehicle a motor transport station to that uh, scenario where you and ben are easy if you had to go through an infinite number of prior events, one... Infinite? It's not infinite, my man. Right, you start from the moment that, that you want to start, and not, not, not 20,000 steps. But right? if, you, if you want to climb the stairs of an airplane, or go through the passage of an airplane, you don't say, oh, how it was made, what material was it, um, um, uh, where, where, where did the, um, uh, the pe uh, pilot came from, um, is he a good pilot, is that, you know, you don't say that stupid things, yeah, you almost take it for granted based on it, on prior experience, and you set your boundary zero, okay, I'm gonna have a good flight, yes, okay, let's move on, you don't think about fucking uh, years before about meeting today, that's absurd, that's stupid. One at a time, I... That would be like trying to count on all the negative numbers one at a time ending at zero, which seems an absurd task. Moreover, we have remarkable scientific evidence from the Big Bang expansion of the universe and the thermodynamic properties of the universe, which suggest that the universe cannot be infinite in the past, but must have had a beginning around 13.8 billion years. Right. Did this idiot just say uh, again that the universe is 13.8 billion years? Take a couple of years back, backwards or forward, doesn't matter, right? He just destroyed, he just destroyed the Christianity. 
literally, because your book says in the beginning God created, and then it says that it was created in six days, not in thirteen point three, sorry, thirteen point eight billion years ago. You are talking nonsense, right? You're talking nonsense, and let's see how this Jew, right, or so-called fucking Jew, Ben Shapiro, doesn't doesn't cap. No, no, no. Excuse me. The Tanakh says. He was created, the universe was created in six literal days. Because that's what my book says. Let's see if he says so. Right? Or he's just there and for, for, to follow the, uh, the wave. Years ago. So I think that second premise is very powerfully supported both philosophically and scientifically. Okay, and then on the, the other argument, the moral See, now he changed the moral argument. So as a Jew, he's not concerned that it's a lack of respect from another from another a theist, right? Because this guy's a charlatan, right? But uh, Will and Lincoln is the same thing. He just doesn't give a shit. He's all about the fucking show, right? I, if I were Jew, says, excuse me, William and Lincoln, according to the Tanakh, is X amount of years, because if you uh, uh, recount the, or you add the genealogies, or however the fuck that is, right? It says it's only 6,000 years old. It cannot be 13.8. 13, 13 so you're mistaken. Sorry about that. Uh, science is full of shit. Right, but now he changes from oh okay that whatever now let's go to morality mor morality argument the argument that I've heard made uh, in in contravention of that it's an argument made by Dawkins Harris Brett Weinstein evolutionary biologists who suggest yeah. that morality there is a certain sense of morality that is innate to mammals that you see even in species now he's he's using the wrong word right uh, morality is more like more like a behavior. My behavior, and this is my definition, my personal be, uh, be definition. Morality is behavior between sentient beings. That is it. Now you can have good morals or bad morals, but morality is an exchange between two, uh, two or more people. Okay, that's it. There's it's no, no intricacy or anything like that. It's just pure behavior. How do you how do you comport with another person, or even an animal, right? How bad you are, or how good we are. Is that are not our own? A sense of primitive altruism, a sense of. Uh... You see, it's still getting that fucking bullshit now. It's, it's all philosophical uh, jargon. Of kinship protection, for example. So, is it possible that that morality is embedded on a very basic level? To a basic level, because he doesn't know about fucking biology. Yeah, he's talking fucking nonsense. Uh, in in behavior of mammals beyond the idea of an objective morality that we think about and therefore enact, that is just embedded in the in the natural code. Natural code, Ben. Where are you getting that from? Oh yes, from your fucking rectum. It is a natural code. What code is that? A B C code. Nonsensical sod. This response is almost a textbook example of the genetic fallacy. <laughs> the genetic fallacy is <laughs> says the bigger the question guy is trying to invalidate a point of view by showing how that point of view came to be held even if evolution and social conditioning has programmed into us a certain no it's not programmed into it it's taught okay it's not bullshit program right you put a child alone he would not know how to interact okay but if 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 you if you uh, if you indoctrinate somebody or a child to to grow up in a certain way, it will behave the way that you have uh, uh, taught him or taught her, right? So that's it. It's as simple. So you're talking nonsense again, uh, Mr. Craig. Set of moral beliefs that does nothing to show that those beliefs. See, moral beliefs is not beliefs. It's behavior are false. Indeed, if moral values are gradually discovered rather than gradual. See, if more if moral values are discovered, this is not like looking for a, a behind the fucking bush, you idiot, right? Morality is an inter interchange, behavior interchange, as I said before, right? You don't fucking discover it. Fully invented, then our gradual and fallible apprehension of the moral realm no more undermines. <laughs> moral realm. <laughs> <laughs> the realm of behavior, you... <laughs> the objectivity of that realm than our gradual, fallible apprehension. All objectivity, no. Um, 
you could call it objectivity if both of them agree on a set of values right but it's still it's still the bottom line is a personal behavior between one and the other that's it crystal clear of the physical world undermines the objectivity of the physical realm in the absence what? of some defeater it seems to me that we're perfectly within our rights in believing that there is an objective realm no 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 that's bullshit that's a shift in the burden of proof but that's another fallacy right in in the case of a defeater so you're trying to me you're trying to say that we have to uh, defeat uh, your god uh, objectivity is that what you're fucking saying right is that how you christians are so freaking dishonest yeah to shift the burden of proof right you got no fucking moral compass right because you're trying to you, you got you got double standards Right, because you say the the, the universe is three point eight billion, but you still go according to what the Bible says, unless you say it's true, right, or rely on uh, me for history, like you have said before, right. So you say that fantasy, the Bible is fantasy or is real. If it's fantasy, we don't give a shit. If you say it's real, then you got a problem. Which one is it? Take your pick, but don't be don't 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 uh, be a double stand up. A type of person for the for the sake of fucking uh, a stupid conversation between you and that other idiot uh, ben shapiro of moral values and duties just as we're within our rights and believing that there is a world of physical objects around uh, you can believe whatever the fuck you want right but believing is not being the case right you believe in, in, a, in an imaginary friend called god which is the same god as ben shapiro right which because you idiots have stolen uh, the God or which God is Ben from? Is it the same one or is it different? Or is it is your your uh, your God superior to Ben, or are they the same one? If it's the same one, his one is the one that pre pre uh, uh, st um, is the beginning of of, of it. But right? you cannot start uh, nicking or stealing other people's property and call it your own. That would make you a thief, a Christian thief, which which I think you are, or all of you Christians, I think you are. But anyway, that was the end of the thing to say. Uh, that's it. And uh, that was the end of the video, right? William Lane Craig destroyed Judaism, Judaism and Christianity. Ben Shapiro doesn't give a shit in one sentence. And the universe is about 13.000 years ago, according to William Lane Craig. Have a nice one.